We'll be right back to YouTube.com. Today we got blindfolded people go speed dating. It's time. The blindfolded button. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. This is the chair. There you go. So if you're new here, which you're probably not, probably seen me do one of these videos before. I've done about 5,000 of them. So if you're new here, hi, hello. It's nice to see you. So normally they don't have blindfolds on. This is a game where it's a, it's a dating show and if they don't like the other person, they hit the button and they're gone. It's rejection in a split second and it's brutal and it's so harsh and it's my favorite show on YouTube. So in the comments, a lot of people have been asking them to produce a version of the show where they, they're blindfolded. Essentially love is blind with all the bullshit stripped away. Just raw human connection and then of course rejection. So that's 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 what's going on here. Oh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm Milton. I'm Mia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think the first thing I'd do is be like, "Hi, nice to meet you." <laughs> right? Cuz when you're, you know, it's like when someone goes blind or, you know, they lose their hearing, then all their other senses are heightened. So I feel like in that case, I'd sit down and be like, wait a minute, use your nose. Hi, nice to meet you, I'm Cody. <laughs> okay, you have a cat, I see. Just, <laughs> oh, where do you smoke cigs? Hell yeah. The type I have here, thick, sassy, sense of humor. Is there anything else you wanna to add to that checklist? That's about it, no. I mean. So what are you for work? Uh, I'm a school bus driver. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the f- What the fuck? This man do is doing society a service. He's driving the youth to their place of study. And you're gonna reject him in cold blood like that? Sheesh. No respect. Damn, that was quick. Take your blindfolds okay. off and look at each other. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ask her, why did you reject me? Why did you? I just wasn't feeling the spark. Didn't feel like conversation was flowing, that's all. I feel it. So it's nice, nice to meet, meet you, though. Yeah, absolutely. Got the Do you regret class. it now? That I, didn't, didn't, they, didn't she ask him one question? One question? Yeah, it was, wasn't flowing. It wasn't flowing. I asked you your job, and it just your answer was just too straightforward. <laughs> Sorry. Do you see him? He's very handsome, but stay, stay where I stand with. Just didn't feel the flow. No, yeah, it's a total babe. <laughs> absolutely. I got the chair. Good job, good job. Pull the chair out. Hi. Hi. I'm Craig. I have my hand out oh. for... No? Oh, there it is. Oh, there Craig, nice to meet you. <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? I am really open to trying anything new. I'm pretty new to the area. Right now, it's mostly been like hitting as many different... What do you like to do... What do you like to do... What do you like to do for fun? Sorry. Did you fart? <laughs> is that me? Sorry, I think I farted. Sorry, I fart when I can't see. I fart in the dark. I'm a dark farter. <laughs> Okay. Craig owns a bar. Oh, love that, Craig. I do. A lot of my time is spent around like breweries and wineries and okay. alcohol and stuff like that. Completely get that. I just started a new job recently and I work in the beer industry now, so it's been a lot of stopping up. What if she was like, I totally get that. I am an alcoholic, so I totally understand that. That's awesome. We're going to be great together. Bars and things like that, so okay. that's become a workplace for me. <laughs> and what kind of job do you have in the, the beer industry? So I work in marketing, so I'm a brand manager. So when you're dating, what age group do you normally kind of stick to? I usually go older, so my age range is usually like 22 to 32 kind of thing. Um, I'm at the bottom of that. <laughs> I'm 39. Okay. Uh, and then to be totally transparent, I have two kids and I'm divorced. Okay. So like throwing that all on the table. Why, why would you throw it all on the table though? Why would you do it? You don't have to. So why would you do it? I mean, I guess it's kind of fucked up to tell them that afterwards. I mean, this guy, I guess it's like an honest thing to be like, hey, this is what you're getting into if you like me. But still, kind of feel like you just get past the button stage and then kind of reveal those sort of things, you know? Like, is that your is that a, is that your opening on dating apps too? Just like, hi, love love your pictures. I love I also love hiking, and you know what else I love? Being divorced and having two kids. Be do you? <laughs> Please say yes. That, um, I am so, so sorry. I actually have tried going out with someone with kids before and it just really isn't right for me right now. Totally get it. Yeah, yeah. I understand. It's like, it's, it's a lot. It's such a pleasure to meet you though. Pleasure. Good luck tonight. I love that guy. He's been in another one, right? 
He has. I think I liked him last time, too. I don't know what the fuck else he's been in, but I recognize him, and I don't know, man. I'm so deep into the cut lore at this point, you know? I should probably know every single character and, you know, everything they've been in, but... I have brain rot from the internet and from doing this, most likely, so... Damn. Yeah. really thought I had it the bar on her. <laughs> Fuck! You know what I need to Fuck! Is this so Hi. Hi. Can I get a hug? Where are you? Put your hands up. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Hi. I'm Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How are we doing? You know, I'm great. Thanks for getting me off my feet, moving around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just kind of having a good time today. It's nice. Good. What do you find yourself doing in your leisure time? I love watching television and film. I studied film for a really long time. Oh, okay. So Guilty pleasures? I always say, like, my number one guilty pleasure show is Riverdale. I will never, <laughs> never, never, never recommend anyone watch the show. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That was aggressive slam, no worries. I'm so sorry. <laughs> God, it would be so funny if... They, they, they don't know where the button is, so it'd be funny if he was like... Hit the table. She's like, what was that? Nothing. Eh. What was that? Nothing. It was my... It was, uh... My... My boner. Hitting the table. Sorry. Also, the hug thing, I feel like that's a little bit cheating, right? Because then you, you, like, the whole point is that you, there's no physical aspect here. It's just voice and connecting via m words. That was a little bit like, you know, it was like fucking, you know, that was a little bit like when you used to play Heads Up, Seven Up as a kid, and you'd, like, peek underneath the desk, peep the shoes, so that you had a, you cheated, you know? It's kind of what this guy's doing. He was a looker in the Heads Up 7 Up. I know you were. You were lovely. Thank you. Um, but yes. Was it the Riverdale? I'm gonna be very candid with you. We have a little bit of a bromance back there, and so I kind of did it for the boys. Report yeah. back to the boys that. They gotta get, gotta get rid of that. They gotta like put these people in separate green rooms. I don't know how big the studio is. I was kind of assuming it was gigantic. I don't know why, but to me, Cut is like this fucking multi-trillion dollar media company and they have 90 different versions of the button and 90 different sound stages all next door to each other you know so put them all in different green rooms so they can't like powwow and be like yeah reject her i don't care what she's like get in there she rejected me so get in there and press the button <laughs> I just heard a big gasp from the gal room. I think I'm not villain number one. Hi, I'm Nathan. Hello. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sam. Samantha. How are you doing today? Um, I'm doing good. So in terms of in terms of dating, what is something that is like an automatic deal breaker? I can be really chatty sometimes, and I've had a lot in my past where people will like I'll talk about something and then I'll just cut me off. I need someone who will listen to me. What is something that you watch by yourself that's a guilty pleasure that you don't tell anybody? I'm I mean, curious. I watch a lot of anime. I really? I couldn't tell by the hair on the, you know, this is an anime like shirt, right? I don't know, I don't know anything about anime, so not for me to judge, you know? Watch me too. a lot of Asian shows like Korean dramas. What is your type? I'm definitely very into Asian men. It's not like a deal breaker or anything. What race do you think I am? I have no idea. I don't I don't want to make assumptions. You want to take a guess? I would say like maybe white to Asian, maybe? I am Asian, actually. Oh. Yeah. White to Asian or somewhere in that spectrum? Can we hug? Sure. Okay. Hi. How are you? Good. You need a hug. Thank you. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> it's sad because I feel like they were getting along. He knows what he did too. He knows. I feel like they had a, like a little connection going on. And then I know what he was doing. Why, Nathan? We get along on a lot of different topics, but I felt that. Yeah, why, dude? Yeah, why? Why? It was something where I could become a really good friend with you. Yeah, um, yeah. That's just kind of a gut feeling for me. No, that's totally, totally valid, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, I can't see anything because I don't have my glasses on. Bye, Sam. Goodbye. Well, what's with the... I mean, yeah. That's pretty cold-blooded, dude. You can't just go up and, like, measure circumference and then hit the button directly after. What do you think that's gonna say? Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, my name's Nathan. What's your name? I'm Amy. Uh, what is your drink? Amy is wifey material. I, if he does the hug thing again, man, I, I'm having a hard time with this. I'm having a tough time with this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what makes someone wifey material? I just really like to take care of my man. Like, <laughs> I like to spoil him. I mean, I obviously like expect the same energy back, but I can cook really well. Oh, what do you love to cook? Steak dinner with like shrimp and oh, like. Oh wow, surf and surf. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is very fancy. Mashed potatoes. Nathan, model. She's she's locked and loaded. She's already touching the button just to make sure. Oh, are you your model? <laughs> oh, I don't. Where did you guys get that information? <laughs> what? How tall are you? Oh. How tall do you think I am? I'm thinking like 5'11". Do you want to give me a hug and see how tall I am? Don't! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Everyone knows what you're doing! <laughs> Not right now. Why did you press the button? It's just like, wasn't the vibe. <laughs> you know, I can, I can respect that. You have really nice hair. Oh, thank you. You as well. Um, it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you as well. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, this is, this is the worst one yet. This is the worst one yet. Sorry, I'm trying to literally find the chair right now. <laughs> no, that was me too. Don't worry. Okay. Voice sounds soothing. I like it. Oh, thank you. How old are you? I am 26. Probably when you look at me though, you're probably like, no, I'm younger than that. Younger? So. Really? Yeah, okay. I'm 21. Okay. <laughs> Amy is dating to marry. Are you ready to get married, Donovan? <laughs> I don't mind marriage. I really don't. I just it depends how like certain time with what it does course, and everything. Yeah. So yeah, where it leads. Yeah, I'm obviously not dating like to. Like... They should do this like Love Is Blind, where they have to get married after. So, you can do that for you can have that idea for free. Okay. It's, it's like for me to you, cut. Mary right away. And he wants three kids. Three is a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Two would be fine. Three is, is like... Is it like you don't make enough? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, it's not that. I don't mind it. My mom had one out of six. I'm the oldest out of the six. It's like hectic enough on my mom. We're gonna bring in his next date. It's nice meeting nice you, Nice to meet you, too. Nice meeting you. It's gonna hit it again, just so you know. Too many kids! Nice to meet you. Too many kids! <laughs> Get out of here. My name's Rhea. Okay, my name's yeah. Donovan. What is your type? Look-wise, my type has been all over the board. I definitely love people who are like athletic and into the gym. I love like manly men who can like, you know, <laughs> let me feel more relaxed and like, so that's just my type. Yeah, yeah, I do work out and everything, so it's just part of my regimen I do. Let everything. her fill your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing, I'm not laughing at him. I don't doubt that he does, I just think that is, that's a funny, I'm into guys that, I mean, I do work out. There's no way that you can say that and not sound like a total douche. I mean, I do, I do indeed work out. I do, I do work out. So I do work out and I do work out and I do work out and I do workouts as well. And I go to the gym and I do go to the gym. So, so you wanna feel them or? <laughs> I hear my okay, arms where, out. Okay, where are your arms? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, you seem strong. What do you like to work out in the gym? So honestly, I work out every particular muscle twice a week. I would say my favorite one I like to do is chest. Where is it? It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is absurd. This is absurd. I mean, you name a muscle and I'm in the gym working it out. We got delts, we got rear delts, we got mid delts, we got upper delts, we got lower delts, and I'll even sometimes do my inner delts, as well as my outer delts, and then of course, pectorals, dictorals. Yeah, my dictorals, I'm sure you know where that, that's located. Show your face. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. I like the buzz cut. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. Are you two connecting? I mean, she's already had already my arms and my I've chest. I've already and... like, I feel like I basically already know you. <laughs> Blindfolds off in three, two, 
Like, okay, so if they're wait, what's going on here? So if they're connecting, then they then they look, and now and then they okay, <laughs> okay, I'm piecing it all together here, and then okay. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> You're not what I expected you to really? be. Really? Honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you too? What if she's like you, you, like just mean as fuck? Oh, oh, you look way worse than I was expecting. I wouldn't put it past this this damn show. Ew. Can we go on a second date? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That hurt me. I don't know how you could walk away from the show and feel okay about yourself. Like, I hope that they give them free, like, like, tick, like, I don't know, coupons for therapy or something after this. Don't you think? They should give that, like, fucking in the green room on the table. There should be white claw and fucking coupons for therapy. Therapy. Why did I just sound like I rapped that? Coupons for therapy. Why did you reject him? Um, I just want to see like what other vibes are there, okay. just for the experience. All right. Sorry, Donovan. <laughs> Thank you, Donovan. It's okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Devontae. Where is my hug? Come on. Are you wearing a face mask over your eyes? Am I? Are you not? I think this. <laughs> This, this is what they gave me, okay? Wait, how do I look? Do I look? Whatever works, honestly. Uh, do you like the smell of each other? I Give each know. other a little whiff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. You smell like body wash. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a nice perfume. What is that, lotion? It's a bum bum cream. Bum bum cream. It's for your bum. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta moisturize some cheeks, you know? Yeah. Like, your voice. Yeah. It's really calm. Thank and it's soft. What are you doing after this? I don't know. What are you about? Whoa, she's, she's into it right away. Right away. Just by the voice? Or by the smell? Or what's going on? Maybe it's just from the pheromones in the air. I don't know what pheromones are. It felt like the right thing to say there, though. By the way, I work out, so. Are you trying to find out? <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to see each other? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh my god. Hello. You're cute. Oh, stop. <laughs> You're hella pretty. I like the eyeliner with the blue. Thank you. You have a really nice smile. Okay, did, okay, did cut. Did you edit shit out of that or did, did, they, did they just like right away? Like they didn't say anything to each other. They smelled each other and now they're getting married pretty much. Did you edit shit out or is that how it really went down? Because if it did, then this really is, you know, a social experiment, sort of. I mean. That's amazing. Okay. Are you gonna commit to a second date? I feel like we could. Unless I'm wrong. No, I would like that. You're pretty comfortable so far. Yeah. And you're not making me nervous. You know, whenever people say like, oh, I got butterflies, uh -huh. I feel like that's a sign that your body's rejecting them. Uh -huh. And if you feel like comfortable with the person, I feel like that's like. That's what I know, look for in a person. That's more comfortable. Yeah. yeah. What? That's not true at all. What? That's. Ridiculous. No, nerves are good. That's good. That means you're nervous. It means you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I want to impress them. So, What's up, bud? How you doing? Second date? The lady's comfortable with it. I am. Yeah. I would enjoy that. Congratulations. You've won the button. What? <laughs> nice to actually meet you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad I skipped the this before this. <laughs> I'm glad I was right next to the line, like yeah. shit. Alright, get out of here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Button. Can I just... Thank you. <laughs> the next one I gotta do, again, cut if you're watching, take this for free, is just, like, no, no talking. They walk in, they gotta just sit and look at each other for at least 10 seconds, and then the button goes, and then they can. Just a little thought. Okay guys, thanks. I finally did the blindfold episode. Felt good. It's pretty rough, honestly, but I hope you liked it. Click like if you liked it. Just, uh, you know, smang it for me. Just real quick, it only takes a second or two, and you know, it really helps me out. So, appreciate it, and uh, see you next time, bye.